All right, so here's how to do cost minimization. So the production function is x is equal to 2k to the 1 third, l to the 2 thirds, wage rate is 8, rental rate is 4. You always start with the marginal product of labor over the marginal product of capital is equal to the wage rate over the rental rate. This is, in essence, giving us our tangency between our, PP, our an ISO quant and our ISO cost, where the slope of the ISO cost is minus w over r. So, marginal product of labor. Take the derivative of the production function with respect to labor. So we have 2, drop the exponent on labor down. So that's 2 thirds, k to the 1 third, l to the 2 thirds, minus 1. Marginal product of capital, 2, drop the exponent on capital down, k to the 1 third, minus 1, l to the 2 thirds, and that's equal to w over r, 8 over 4. So, 2 cancels with 2 third cancels with third. So we're left with 2, k to the 1 third, k to the minus 2 thirds on the bottom. So k to the 1 third, l to the negative 1 third on top. Down here we've got k to the minus 2 thirds, l to the 2 thirds is equal to 8 divided by 4, which is 2. So uh, negative exponent flips the other side of the dividing line. 2, k to the 1 third plus 2 thirds is just k. L to the negative one-third flips the other side of the dividing line. L is equal to 2. So that tells us that K over L divided each side by 2 is 1. That is the capital labor ratio. That is the slope right there. That is the capital labor ratio. So now we know that K is equal to L. Capital labor ratio is equal to 1. What else do we know? We know we want to talk about making 1x. So 2k to the 1 third, l to the 2 thirds. So divide the side by 2, 1 half is equal to k to the 1 third, l, well l is also equal to k, plug that in. So k, 2 thirds, so that tells us that k to the 1 third plus times k to the 2 thirds, which is just k, is equal to 1 half. k is equal to l, so l is equal to 1 half. So again, how did we do that? We took from the capital labor ratio, plugged that into the production function, where we're making one unit of output, solve for K. Take that back to the capital labor ratio, solve for L. Last thing to do is talk about the cost. Price is equal to cost, which is equal to the amount you spend on labor plus the amount that you spend on capital. What was the wage rate? Back here it was eight. You are buying one half a unit of labor, what was the rental rate from back here? It's four. You're buying one half a unit of capital. So the cost, which is equal to the price under perfect competition, is four plus two, or a grand total of six. So what are the three steps? Step number one, marginal product of labor over marginal product capital equals the wage rental ratio. That's the tangency. Step two, use the production function, solve for K, and then use the capital labor ratio to solve for L. What have we done there? Well, we've used the idea that we're on a tangency, pin down the ISO quant, and that tells us how much capital and labor we want to use. Step number three, now that we know how much capital, how much labor we're talking about, plug that into the cost function. That tells us the cost of making one unit of output. Under perfect competition, that tells us the price. What's the price for 10 of them going to be? Just multiply the cost by 10. Under constant returns to scale, we know that works. So the price would be 60 for 10 of them in total. That's it. Good luck.